and uh, we're getting into a conversation about um, our beaches. So, you know, a lot of times when people want to go out, have fun, we we'll go to the beach, we'll call our friends, yo, we're going to the beach, tell you, hop on, we could go. And sometimes you get to some place, you're like, ew. Being someone who has lived in Cape Coast for a very long time, Takarado for a very long time, and you see the beaches, some are nice, others, how they sometimes aren't in the best of shapes. And so there's an initiative coming up to make sure that we have all of those things cleaned up. And so join us this one. We've got, uh, you know, I mean, it's my first time on the show. Elina Abla is here, and she's the MD for Abla Foundation. And also Chris Wagba is a volunteer, and we'll get to talk to them. Why are you doing this, though? You know, what's the motivation for all of this? We're live on Facebook at Metro TV. Ghana, so you can watch us live on there. So, good morning, lady and gentlemen. You're welcome. Good Thank morning. You. How's the morning, though? Oh, to the rings, the weather. The oh. rings, the weather, the roads. It's the morning. It's a crown morning. Is that typical of crown morning? Yes. Okay. Yes. I see that. Yes. But um, this particular one, when did it start? With oh. the beach? You've been doing that for a while? We've been doing it for a while. The okay. Ebla Foundation started in 2018. Mm. Um, but the, our first beach cleanup was in 2019. 2019. At the same shining beach, yes. Yeah. Yes, at but, the same shining beach. Oh, but why did you decide to go to the beaches? Are you a beach lover? Do you love the beach? It's an interesting story. So mm. I, I like meditating. Okay. So one Sunday, in I think early 2019, I'd gone to the beach just to sit there and meditate. And then I saw the fishermen pulling in their nets. Yeah. And that was the first time I'd seen it. So I waited past my time there. I waited, I, they spent about three hours pulling that okay. thing in. And then once it came in, I went to, to see excitedly the fish that had come out. And out of the whole haul that they brought, I would say about 70% of it was plastic waste. Oh. Yes, about 70% was mm. plastic waste. And then the fish was just small, small. And they were complaining. Complaining about it. Complaining yeah. about it, that this is what happens. They've been working since midnight. And then they come and they go and fish plastic from the ocean. So that's why I was like, okay, I have an NGO. We started with maternal health already. Mm -hmm. So why not add plastic awareness and clean up to it? Because this is, this is somebody's livelihood and this is also our oceans going to waste. Yeah. So that's why the plastic uh, cleanup at the beaches came in. And I can only wonder, I mean, if that was 2019, moving on to what, five years on, it's crazy because even the, the, the uh, reports suggest that in a few years to come, mm -hmm. our, our oceans will just be full yes. of uh, plastic. But Chris, how did you mm -hmm. get involved in this? Um, we we met on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Okay. You, you know, I mean, I'm I'm passionate about um, climate, so mm. um, I saw what she was doing on Instagram, and we arranged for a meeting. We met. We had a conversation about everything from environment to politics, mm. and she invited me to join. And then, yeah, yeah, we are accepted to be part. Yeah. Okay. What what is it about the beaches when you visit them that gets you off? And you're even motivated to even be part of this more. You you know we we for a good mental health and mm. for um, our our health in total, we need to have spaces where people want to um, go to when they want to like distress or mm -hmm. they just want to have a good time. But when you look at Accra, especially, you realize that um, our be our beaches are not that conducive for um, for purposes like that. So. Mm -hmm. We are passionate about things like this so that we can make it possible for people to use such, such uh, spaces yeah. whenever they, they, they want to, say, um, have a good time. You know, you can be at home all the time. Yeah. And, you know, our beaches also add to um, our, um, our economy. There are, there are places you want to go to to maybe host a wedding, you want to uh, have a birthday party. But if our beaches are not clean, mm. then you will not, you'll not be able to like celebrate the way you want to. Yeah. yeah so that's why I'm passionate about to, to create um, a, a, a safe space for people to have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I remember a few years back when I really wanted to read in school, <laughs> I went to. Well, obviously, you see, we've got oh, yeah. the Inkoso Beach, so I want to sit there. This is not Inkoso Beach, it's a very nice beach. <laughs> <laughs> but, but lately, they've, they've done well with the place. Yes. But, but of course, they have the concerns about cutting down trees you know, yes. along the beach yeah. and you know, doing all of that. Yeah. But anyways, let's get back to this conversation. So, when is this one happening? It's happening on Saturday, this Saturday. Oh, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. It's happening tomorrow at Shining Beach. At uh, 7 a.m. we are there. And we're there till, 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 because right after we finish the cleanup, mm. which is uh, really, really supported by the Municipal Assembly, the Nongwa Municipal Assembly, okay. they've given us hose, rakes, uh, they've given us uh, wheelbarrows, they've also given us a van. 
Oh. to cut the waste away. So mm -hmm. what we're going to be doing tomorrow is, which is what we always do at the Black Foundation is, once we get there, we have teams. So there are teams that are picking only plastics. Okay. There are teams that are picking cans and glasses. And then there are teams that are separating the organic waste. Oh. The organic waste we bury because it can decompose. Yeah. But then the plastics, uh, we have a partner called Erasu. They are plastic recyclers. So they'll come tomorrow and pick up the plastics that we uh, collect, so it's not going to a dump site, okay. and they'll go and recycle the plastic, and then the glass, and then the cans are what the waste bins will take away, mm -hmm. and then we bury the sand, bury the organic waste. Once we are done with that, it's party time. We're going to be playing games, we're going to be drinking, we're going to be dancing, you know. Oh, you know? okay, all of that. <laughs> so after, after doing the work, and then you, you de-stress, and you yes. have some fun. There. Yes. But, I mean, I, I think I like the initiative of separating whatever that you find on the beach. Uh, we don't do that, you know, a lot in this country. Uh, you have yeah. to. Otherwise, you've taken the waste from one place and dumped it to another place. Mm. Plastic doesn't decompose. Yeah. It takes a normal piece of plastic 500 years to decompose. Mm -hmm. So no matter where you put it, unless you burn it, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. Yeah, so that's why we recycle. But, but the education, so that you don't have to be doing this every year, you could be focusing on something else. The education, the ordinary Ghanaian's understanding of this, that you shouldn't go to the beach and drop your bottles and all of those things there. The effect is great because the fishermen will, will be affected. Those who have to, I mean, all of us who want to go to the beach and have fun, we cannot do that because yeah. the place is, and of course, the, the menace of open identification oh, and yes. all of these things. So how are you adding education to it to make sure that people around the place understand what is going on. Okay, so every year since we've been there, we always do a community awareness program. Okay. So we do a buyback campaign. Last year we did it with Gripe, Gripe mm -hmm. Ghana. Uh, was it last year, two years ago? We did it with Gripe Ghana, where we go to the community, we educated them. We even bought plastics from them to show them that there's money in plastic, so don't throw it mm -hmm. out, keep mm -hmm. it, and then we'll come and take it from you. And it started working. But one of the things you have to realize at shiny beaches, even when we are cleaning the beach, you see that the waves are bringing more waste oh. as you are cleaning. So it's not only coming from the people at the beach. It is coming from our main drains, from Accra. Mm. It's going into the ocean and then oh, the ocean is bringing it back because the ocean doesn't want it. Mm. So that's one thing that we need to do is create awareness across board, which is why this year we are launching our safe environments clubs in secondary schools to start teaching people from secondary school to not waste plastic and throw it into the environment. Okay, great. Wrapping up on this, Chris, anything you want to add Excuse before me. we go? All right, so, you know, uh, at Ebla Foundation, we are passionate about three things. Safe birth, safe environment, and safe livelihoods. Mm. Last year, we partnered with uh, the Imam of Abu Sokai, and we impacted about 200 lives, um, picking people off the street and giving them um, opportunities to learn trades. Um, we have also... Um, embarked on projects to reduce um, uh, mortality rates in pregnant women. And this is our third uh, project this year. Um, after, after this event, we are going to the SHS to form climate groups and clubs on campuses so that we can educate young people about protecting the environment and disposing of uh, plastic waste uh, appropriately. Okay. So we are calling everyone to join us. If you are passionate about the climate, uh, if you are passionate about the environment, come join us tomorrow. Let's let's clean up Shiny Beach and then um, take it up from there. Okay, just listen to the name Shining Beach. Shiny Beach, like to be shiny. You know. <laughs> so tomorrow, everybody's invited to be part of it. Seven a.m. Shining Beach. Yes, till till till. Till till till. Yes. Okay. So guys, you had to make sure that you're part of this uh, tomorrow, first June, happening at the Shining Beach. Be part. Let's make sure that we clear. We try to clear. You know all of that refuse from our beaches. We can have some good time when we go there. So thank you very much for coming through. Alinam yes. Abla, um, see you, everything. Oh, Ali. Quata, quata, quata. Many shirts, many shirts, <laughs> many shirts. <laughs> at um, Abla Foundation, also Chris Wogba is a volunteer at the foundation.